Hello there guys and welcome to this Explain 11 video. Today I'm going to show you what I believe are the top 5 freeware and must-have add-ons for Explain 11. The alert that you heard as we were approaching the runway is that of RAS or RAAS Runway Advisory and Awareness System. RAS is a freeware plugin available for Explain 10 and 11 originally developed to run as a Lua script uh, that works with Fly with Lua. The developer very quickly uh, developed version 2, uh, which runs uh, as an independent plugin of the Fly with Lua um, uh, add-on. XRAS uh, version 2 comes with its own configuration menu where it gives you granular control over the different alerts uh, that you want to hear inside the SIM and you have complete control over the volume. If you recall uh, in the original version, uh, everything was configurable through a text file. And this is a big improvement uh, over the previous version. And uh, what I really appreciate is the amount of time and effort that has been put into RAS and it's completely open source and it's completely free of charge. In fourth place of the list of the top five comes X Camera. Now, X Camera is available in both a premium and freeware versions, and it is, in my opinion, the best camera program for Xplane. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with X Camera. Uh, you can pan around the cockpit and you can create your own custom views and you can create those really nice cinematics as well. Now, the premium version, of course, uh, unlocks all the functionality. It allows you to save uh, your views, uh, and it's got uh, airport uh, uh, cameras as well. Uh, the free version is limited uh, in functionality, but still extremely functional. Uh, I highly recommend that you get X camera and uh, start using it, and once you're comfortable with it, you can make the decision whether you wanna upgrade to premium version. This is uh, what the control panel of uh, X camera version 2.2 looks like. It's got a ton of features. You can use it with track IR. You can also use it with head shake if that's what you choose to do. And the number three spot is reserved for the EADT Boeing 737-800. This aircraft is probably one of the best freeware add-ons for X-Plane. Uh, I've done very few flights in this aircraft. I don't think I've ever featured this aircraft in a video, uh, but it is actually a very fulfilling uh, aircraft in terms of how it flies and how everything is modeled. Now, this is uh, a version that is, I think, compatible with X-Plane 11. I haven't um, experienced any problems uh, in X-Plane 11 with this aircraft. And let's jump into the flight deck. As you can see, the flight deck is actually pretty well done. The texturing uh, and the uh, you know the knobs and everything really looks like a 737-800. Now, of course, guys, this is not the IXEG quality, but actually, in my opinion, this aircraft looks a lot better than many of the payware aircraft on the market, and it actually functions pretty good as well. I think for those of you who are just starting in the X-Plane world and want to try something a little more sophisticated uh, perhaps than the built-in 737 and still not sure that they want to spend money on you know, such an expensive add-on as the uh, IXEG 737, I think this is uh, a good middle ground for those of you who want to uh, test out X-Plane and uh, you know, fly the 737-800. None of us like to fly in empty skies, and this is why the number two spot is reserved for X-Life. Now, I've done a complete review of X-Life Deluxe in a previous video, I think maybe probably just under a year ago, and I wasn't very fond of the ATC features of this uh, program, but this version, the X-Life version, is actually free of charge. This is absolutely free and uh, it's got some nice features as you can see we are now at Dallas Fort Worth and I've got aircraft uh, here taxiing on the uh, on the taxiway and there's another one there and it really fills up your skies it's uh, it 
it adds that level of uh, immersion and uh, realism to the flying experience in my opinion there is another one landing right there if you guys are interested in a full tutorial on installing xlife uh, please uh, include a comment in the comment section below and i will do a full video showing you exactly how to do that And the number one spot is reserved for XFMC. XFMC is a free flight management computer for X-Plane. Now, the nice thing about it is that it's not just an FMC. It's actually kind of like a virtual pilot uh, that help or virtual co-pilot that helps you with certain functions uh, during your flight. And it, it does function like a... Uh, you know, like a Boeing FMC, and uh, you can, for example, go to the initial uh, uh, initialization here, and you initialize the position. We are at uh, okay. We are at uh, Kilo Sierra Alpha November, uh, and then you can do the route. Uh, you can put your origin and destination, and but what you also can do is you can go to the automate function here and you can actually automate all these functions you can automate the gear flaps or rejected takeoff auto brake reverse thrust uh, brakes and speed brakes and what it will essentially do it will automate these uh, functions during the different phases of fly to assist you in flying the aircraft a very very good uh, plugin for those of you who are just starting or if you're flying an aircraft like the A350, uh, I normally use XFMC to load the flight plan with the SIDS and STARS uh, into the A350 and then of course use the aircraft systems to fly the aircraft. Also, what I really like about um, XFMC, it's, it's got uh, Navigraph uh, support. So the FMC data manager has a data set uh, specifically created for XFMC. Uh, which can be used, which means that you can update your, uh, uh, your nav database. Before we conclude our show, we are currently at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport, an airport that was developed by Mr. Omar Masrur, and I've done a review of this airport not too long ago. Now, many of you have been sending me emails asking about the release date, and I've reached out to Mr. Masrur and he informed me that Lemonar Research has advised against the release of this airport before the official release of X-Plane 11. So, uh, thank you, uh, Omar, for getting back to me. And uh, guys, it looks like you're going to have to wait just a little while until X-Plane 11 is released. All right, guys, this is what I wanted to share with you in this video. I hope that it's been a useful and informative video. If you have any questions, as usual, please do post them in the comments section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching and bye-bye for now.